John Rich said, tell Mel, tell us. I won't tell you exactly what he said, but uh, hey, hello. It's great to be here. Uh, I promise you I won't miss it any more years because this is growing and it's incredible that you support it. Thank you for being here. It's great to see a lot of old friends here. I was shaving this morning and I was thinking, God, I can't wait to get, it's such an ego boost to come in here and, you know, have people remember who you are. I got to tell you a funny story. I was flying from Los Angeles to Daytona Beach, Florida to do the national anthem for the Daytona 500 back when I had a, a NASCAR team. And I'm on the plane and you need these little ego checks every now and then to kind of keep everything in where it belongs. And I'm on a flight and uh, flying up front and the stewardess came out, the flight attendant, she said, Mr. Shepard, if you don't mind, would you be so kind as to sign an autograph for Sarah, the captain's daughter? I said, I'd be honored. So I signed it and she took it back up to the captain and there's this guy sitting across the aisle from me, talk about an ego check now. And all through the flight, you know, he didn't want to say anything or be embarrassed. He, didn't, he was trying to figure out who this shepherd guy was. And I'm standing at the luggage carousel in Daytona when I got there, and he comes running over to me and he said, oh God, I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you. I said, that's okay, man, that's okay. He said, you know you look much younger than I thought you looked. I said, well, thank you. He said, tell me, when was it you were an astronaut? <laughs> I said, no, I'm, I'm the country singer, T.G. Shepard. He said, mm, don't ring a bell. <laughs> do, we know, do we know what? Do one for the astronaut here.
Thank you, PG. That 